The ice-capped Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania, the Living Museum of Evolution of the Galapagos Islands in Ecuador, or the iconic Great Barrier Reef in Australia are only three of over 250 natural sites inscribed on UNESCO's World Heritage List in more than 95 countries. Natural World Heritage Sites harbour unique and endangered species, Spanning over 3.5 million square kilometers, the sites protect some of Earth's most significant natural assets and vital biodiversity. They are considered to be of outstanding universal value to humanity. Two-thirds of the natural world heritage sites are crucial sources of water, and half are essential to prevent disasters such as floods and landslides. They play a key role in climate regulation and carbon sequestration, essential in fighting global warming. They also boost socio-economic development. The sites inscribed on UNESCO's World Heritage List are protected under the World Heritage Convention, established in 1972. Thanks to this unique intergovernmental treaty, UNESCO can bring together the world's nations and people to harness the protection of humanity's most exceptional cultural and natural heritage. But UNESCO World Heritage Sites face serious threats such as climate change, invasive species, unsustainable tourism, poaching, mining and infrastructure projects. UNESCO and its partners work to address these to safeguard our planet's future for generations to come. For example, to tackle the increasing number of emergencies that natural world heritage sites are experiencing, UNESCO provides assistance through the Rapid Response Facility, the world's fastest conservation fund. The Belize Barrier Reef Reserve System has been threatened by offshore oil exploration and coastal development. Thanks to international cooperation under the World Heritage Convention, oil exploitation has been banned and the site has been removed from the list of world heritage in danger, benefiting around 200,000 Belizeans who depend on the reef for their livelihood. In South Africa, the World Heritage designation of the Isi Mongoliso Wetland Park has reduced uncontrolled water extraction for agriculture and improved sustainability in the tourism industry and created thousands of jobs, helping communities move past poverty. Other emblematic sites in Africa have been included on UNESCO's World Heritage List over the past decade, like the Okavongo Delta in Botswana, the largest inland delta system of the world, as well as the Songha Tri-National in the Congo Basin. Being the first of its kind, the site encompasses an area in three different countries, contributing to transnational cooperation and protection of the last intact rainforests of Africa. In the Virunga National Park in the Democratic Republic of Congo, major companies have also refrained from exploiting oil and gas due to the global oversight granted by the Convention. This led to other commitments to recognize UNESCO World Heritage Sites as no-go areas for extractive industries. These examples represent the ongoing importance of the World Heritage Convention for a global conservation effort, advancing the endeavor to protect shared heritage over generations and support sustainable development, essential for humanity's future on this planet. <laughs>